Hello once again, this is Eric with Master Tool of Hair. Today we're just going to uh, identify the specifications on your motor and uh, just a short video on how to decide which motor replacement will work on your compressor. Here we have a very typical uh, 5 horsepower motor uh, for air compressors. Um, and just a note, you want to certainly replace your motor with the OEM original equipment. So if you do have your maker model number in your compressor, certainly in your manual, um, you know, order the same OEM number to ensure you do get the correct replacement motor. Or uh, on mastertourpair.com, type in your model number and we have a parts list where you can identify the OEM motor. Or call into a sales rep, of course, to, uh, to identify the replacement. However, if you do not have the make and model number on your compressor, you can use these uh, specifications on your original motor uh, to identify and match it up with one of the motors we offer. In this case, we have a very popular Marathon Electric 5 horsepower motor. Here's the uh, label with all of our specifications, just going to identify what they mean. Uh, horsepower, of course, HP. In the top left, in this case, is SPL, which stands for uh, Special. Uh, notated uh, by special again that is a proprietary motor for this make and model so it might state SPL and usually typically will have a three to five you know horsepower rating three five seven and a half uh, be right there next to the HP V voltage 230 volts in this case is a 3450 rpm motor you definitely want to make sure you match up your rpm if you can uh, and that is going to be uh, directly affect the CFM of the motor, of course. Um, the CFM of the pump, so the output, will be directly affected by the RPM of the motor. This is a 15 running amp motor. Uh, of course, the startup amps will be about twice that, but this is a 15 running amp motor. You'll see a uh, rating, a continuous CONT. That is a continuous duty motor. So it is a you know industrial motor used for continuous use. And below that, you usually, fi usually find the uh, application of the motor. In this case, it is an air compressor motor. Uh, top right, we have HC Hertz, 60 Hertz. And pH, which is phase. So this is a single phase or one phase motor. Uh, most smaller motors are. You have some larger 5 horse, 7, 10, 15 horsepower, etc. They run on three phase power. But this is a single phase motor. Um, you have, of course, service factor SF1. The code can mean something uh, proprietary to the manufacturer of the motor. Um, the SF1 is a service factor of one. You want to make sure that does match uh, your original motor. And FR, very important. FR is the frame size of the motor. In this case, it is a 56 frame. Um, you want to pay attention to that letter after. You may have a letter after, uh, such as uh, 56Y, or you may have a 184T frame or 143T frame. That letter afterwards is very important. Um, you have some motors that have a letter in front of the number, like uh, R56, for instance. That letter is not terribly important. It's uh, the letter after the number that matters. This is a standard 56 frame, not a 56Y or what have you. Um, and, of course, you'll have on the right side a wiring diagram, usually located there or on the inside of the cover that covers the uh, you know, motor wires and contacts. And it says non-reversible rotation. Um, it'll state on the motor if you have a reversible motor. Some are, some are not. In this case, it is not. Um, this is a uh, counterclockwise motor. Almost every compressor uh, typically runs in counterclockwise rotation. And that's looking at the shaft or the flywheel. The motor runs in counterclockwise rotation. Um, if it ran clockwise rotation, the fins are angled you know, on the flywheel, and they would not cool the pump. Um, they run in counterclockwise rotation so that the fins can cool the pump down. So looking at the shaft, it would be a counterclockwise rotation. The shaft size of the motor is not on the label. Typically, as something that's very easy to measure. You just simply uh, take a tape measure, even uh, an outside diameter of the shaft, and it will uh, you'll get your shaft measurement. Uh, of course, this one is a 5 8 inch shaft, so it measures 5 8 inch OD. Uh, other typical uh, shaft sizes will be, say, uh, three quarter inch, seven eighth inch, uh, one and an eighth inch. So uh, just take a tape measure, and honestly, you can pull it right across the outside diameter. And in this case, it's 5 eighths. There's a simple video how to uh, identify specifications on your motor. Again, if you have any questions, call a sales rep or visit www.mastertoolrepair.com for more information. Thank you for watching.